YouTube, this is Diefly Fish. Just want to show you an experiment. I'm running the 20 microfarad capacitor to the slip rings of a unilaterally running uh, armature. I've disconnected the two armature. What I have here is a single 40 amp, uh, 1000 volt full bridge rectifier. It's show, showing right now you, um, an output of approximately 16 to 17 volts with a amp draw of approximately 0.45 amps. I'm going to show you the differential between you know, running this surface area of the uh, full bridge rectifier diode system versus a parallel uh, duplicate 40 amp uh, 1000 volt full bridge rectifier that I've hooked in parallel. So you're going to see uh, the differential in voltage output at a given RPM. I am not going to alter anything with regard to the RPM. We're running approximately 455 or 456 RPM. And all I'm going to be doing now is disconnecting the DC output from this bridge rectifier system and connecting it into the double redundant uh, larger surface area of the bridge rectifier. We're showing again an output of approximately 15 to 16 volts um, from this single one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the DC output from the redundant rectifier system together so that this is ready to go. Okay, so that I've got that set up ready to go. Now what I'm going to be doing is disconnecting this bridge rectifier from the AC output from the armature and we're going to connect it to this uh, system. So what we have here is we have um, one output lead that we're going to connect. Okay, I'm going to connect the secondary armature output AC lead to this bridge rectifier redundant system. And we're going to see what the DC voltage output is with the larger surface area of the full bridge rectifier system. So now we see here we have a definitive 22 to 23 volts output versus what we were seeing before. Romero is correct. The larger the surface area of the diode, and again we haven't changed the amp um, draw, we haven't changed anything, but the output has definitively increased. The larger the output surface area of the diode system I think is critical here. It's very much akin to what's happening potentially with regard to that component of the hairpin circuit and or what is occurring um, at the interface of the slip rings. So the research as far as what's happening inside the diode I think is of critical importance and Romero was very, very kind to show us what was going on uh, definitively to increase the output um, with regard to having a larger diode surface area. So again, I'm going to disconnect the diode from the redundant duplicate version. I'm going to hook it into the single full bridge rectifier, reconnect the system, and we'll see what we're producing again with just one half the surface area of the diode of the full bridge rectifier system as far as what our output is. In any event, I thought you just might find this interesting. So again, we have 17 volts. Might find this fascinating. Have a great night.